family history, culture, and genealogy. That's the topic for today's discussion. I'm coming to you from a little province in Poland called Gorlice, and it's a very small community and it's uh, probably a good hundred or so kilometers southwest of Krakow, which is about 26 or 28 uh, kilometers um, just from the Slovenia border. But the purpose of today's discussion, and which is something I'm going through a lot of personally myself, is my own heritage, my culture, my genealogy, what makes me me, where have I come through, my grassroots. And I've noticed in the week of being here that my triggers are being pressed and highlighted ever so greatly more so than ever before and that was I guess part of my intention of being here and coming here to see where I come from where I stem from and what on a cellular level is my makeup what is within my own subconscious self in my day-to-day -day way of being and what are elements that I love about myself and also the bits that I really don't enjoy about myself and where it stems from and why at times I have this internal conflict going on um, with wanting to be within my nature and some elements that keep creeping up, be it shadow sides of self, that keep presenting themselves to me that I'm finding an inner turmoil. So in my week of being here, I think it's only been five days now since I landed in Krakow and came out with uh, which I brought my son and my father on this journey as an opportunity for three generations to come and explore this. And I'm having some alone time at the moment and going for a walk through one of, I don't know, I'm just getting myself lost in the forest here. If you can have a look. Um, just to have some alone time and me time to reflect, but also to share this. And what I'm being triggered by is, well, firstly, the noticings around me and just observing, observing, what am I noticing? What am I noticing? And, and why I'm being triggered. And there's a lot of emotion. And even now, just discussing this, I'm feeling it come through with just what happened in this country and the remnants and the residue that encroaches and overshadows this culture and I can see it and and, and for me getting out in the outskirts in in you know the little country towns and society and seeing what's really going on in, in and you probably just saw at the start of this video just some of the dilapidation that's going around and not going around but just the, the dilapidation that's around and and even still being here i've i've also the reflection is what i've been taking for granted by being in australia and what i've had access to so freely which is almost taken for granted realizing what's here in in Poland is not readily available when I first landed here I had I came down or was, was starting to come down with almost like flu-like symptoms and it's something I haven't felt for years whether it was from the 30 odd hours in flight sleep deprivation etc etc maybe that contributed to it and I was just pushing my body too hard but then also being exposed to the cold weather here as well when I'm really immersing in what's happening in my environment, but I'm also noticing a massive resistance of almost surrendering to what's so. And I'm having this complication and challenges in doing so. So my history is looking at a lot of suppression, a lot of the 
external influences that have been put upon Poland as a nation, as a country, has been invaded from every border that it has. And there's a lot been taken from the Polish culture, from the people. There is a lot of boxing that kept pushing, pushing, pushing. And it's something that I know in my nature of my wanting to be in my expression of breaking free is shifting the energetic remnants, the residue that has been bred through the culture and over and over and through way of being and even through what my grandparents went through and I feel blessed that they made the sacrifice and the commitment to get their ass up and out of a country and go to the ass end of the world to a foreign place that they had no idea about to make a better life for themselves and coming here has really given me a deep sense of appreciation and respect for sacrifice and what sacrifice really means and what giving into and surrendering to a situation and working with the best of your abilities and resources and wisdom and knowledge in order for this was just survival it wasn't for flourishing and I'm really grateful about this experience but being here is triggering so much in me just hearing how the, the, the communication is with Polish people and it's really coming from a place this is from my observation I'm not saying it's everywhere but it's just what I'm observing and this is probably what I need to see in order for me to make further growth expansion and shifts in my world my paradigm my existence and how I want to see life and experience life but what I've noticed I'm really getting lost in this forest, which is great. But what I've noticed is the amount of emotional suppression that stems within this culture. And for those of you who may be Polish or Slovakic nature may appreciate this more so than other cultures and there's almost like a deep sense of frustration and anger from the suppression that has been influenced upon this country and this and the people here and I find just being an observer and witnessing conversations some can be really abrasive and and it triggers me and it, it really frazzles me and it it upsets me because in my heart in my nature i value peace i value being gentle i, I value love I, I value respect and it's just the way that people communicate with one another and even as a child that really didn't resonate with me and it really triggered me and that's what's being showing up so it's like okay it's triggering me it's something I don't like so what can I do and how can I be in just observing this and sitting with this and knowing this is a trigger and it's an element that I'm facing at the moment do I run from it do I excuse myself or can I appreciate what's happening in order to make conscious decisions to whether or not to subscribe into what's happening and this conflict this personal conflict that I've been having 
within myself, this journey is really showing and, and looking at what family in an environment and what people have been subject to really contributes into one's own sense and self sense of self and well-being and on a cellular level all I can feel is just this sort of resistance well it's the resistance is what I'm feeling but on a cellular level it's like what's vibrating within me is in my heart is very emotively charged and this charge is what I'm here sitting with to dissolve hence why I come out in nature that assists and supports me in transition of shifting a cultural lineage and heritage that's been indoctrinated within me on a deep cellular level that it's been a constant practice in shifting it's not necessarily that not embracing it and there's many elements of being Polish that I embrace and love because there's a celebration in it but the bits that have had external influences that have caused stagnation or suppression within my spirit is what I'm here taking a face on look at by immersing myself in an environment as to where this inner conflict and turmoil has been coming from and I'm just being raw and being okay with being raw and sharing this so having a good look at your roots your grass roots comparing to your nature what the essence of you and your spirit truly wants and looking at where the conflicts are and where the separation is is part of my journey right here right now and perhaps have a look within your own life as to where that might be the incongruency within yourself that's a part that you feel separated from and not whole and complete because this is part of my journey another obstacle this is part of my journey of coming back into myself and coming home and really bringing all those elements that often at times feel very separated within myself into having a really deep holistic wholesome relationship with myself and knowing with absolute certainty to the next level and it keeps getting deeper and deeper and I've often felt that there were parts of my spirit self my spiritual self is separate to my physical self and my mental self has also been very different from my emotional self and this journey is also helping for all of this to come back together as one as opposed to experiencing things separate and being immersed in things separately and how can I integrate them wholly I don't know why this is happening this is just where I'm at at the moment this is my journey I'm just sharing it maybe there's others out there who are in a similar situation or who have gone through this and can share your wisdom or who are going through this and can bridge a conversation through the community through the discussion board 
through our social media arm. Hopefully this may inspire you if you have been disconnected from sense of self, life, others. Maybe this will ignite something for you to reflect upon and look deeper into it and see where you reside and position yourself and your life through me sharing this and thanks for allowing me to express myself in your world and for respecting that in order for me to be able to continue in my journey for loving life and celebrating living. <laughs> Thanks.